we are going to be showing you how to get different depths of color using your stencil brushes and different colors. So I'm going to just start by placing that down. And we've, we've, got, we've got a blue atoll, one of our new colors here. And I'm taking the largest stencil brush. I'm just taking a little off. And then all I'm going to do is just sweep over the top. Okay, so lid on that one, and now I'm moving on to the mulberry, and I'm taking the medium size stencil brush. Now this is a really nice sort of pinky color. And we're going to just go over the top. I'm not covering the whole area. I just want to show you the difference. Okay, so lastly, I'm moving on to the dark denim. This is another one of our new colors. And I'm taking the very small stencil brush. And now this time, I'm not going over the whole thing. I'm just gonna go over certain areas. So I'm just edging. Okay, so let's just take that off. So you can see from that now, that's just the one color here, which looks lovely. Um, and then here we've got two colors. So that's the um, mulberry over the blue atoll. And then here we've got the blue atoll, the mulberry and the dark denim. And you can see by using this really tiny brush, you can just edge over the top of the stencil. And that gives you that really nice three dimensional look. Now you don't have to use these colors, but it's good to use contrasting colors. Um, and then finishing off with the dark, the darkest color, just to edge some of these areas. And again, you can use it on any stencil. You don't just have to use it on this one. You can use it on any one you have. So I hope that's given you um, some help and some ideas on how to create backgrounds using 
your stencils and your stencil brushes. Thanks for watching, guys. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.